Welcome to another edition of Tree Cats. Can you see? There are two cats in that tree, and one of them's nearly fallen out already. In other nature news, that is a really large bee. Welcome to another episode of Trophy Stupid Vlog. Anyway, yes, I'll update you on the progress of whether these cats ever get out of the tree. I've got to be honest. I'm not confident. Black one, whoa. Problem is they're being teased by that magpie in their room. Go on. Good work. Now you just gotta get your friend out. He's a bit frozen with fear. It's a fair bit of bunting in queue. Down the road. And this road I think is pretty Full on. <laughs> Full on Jubilee festivities. Monarchist or not, you've got to agree, it's a good excuse for a party. And then again, like you need an excuse for a party. Even Her Majesty's been good enough to turn up. There she is. <laughs> Welcome to Sunday evening. It has been very wet today. Which hasn't been too bad because we've been indoors. But everyone else has been diamond jubileeing. So they've had water on their head. So we've made the most of it with <laughs> washing and ironing marathons. And uh, I've done some painting. Uh, we've made an amazing pile and eaten it, so that's all fantastic. And now we're going into um, Westfield. Let's go and watch the dictator, hopefully. If we can find a way of getting there and back, that'll be the plan. Welcome to late night in Westfield. There's almost nobody here. slightly weird when there's nobody here but the cinema's open so that's where we're going the hell is this thing that's just weird if I hadn't had awesome paella I'd be tempted by Nando's shock everything looks closed <laughs> except for the bright lights and the occasional person well, that was somewhat of a wasted journey. They literally only had one ticket left. <laughs> so we came all the way to Westfield to be told there's only one ticket on a Sunday night after the Jubilee at 10 p.m. The hell is going on with people? Anyway, how's that plan scuppered? Good morning. Sorry for the squinting, but it's quite bright and I've been asleep a long time. Now check out who's here again. It's the Goodyear blimp. He doesn't seem to be able to know quite where he's going. I think there's a bit of an issue with wind. <laughs> a little bit Hindenburg-y. Um, right, it's Monday. Everyone seems to have a Jubilee hangover. I don't. Um, mainly because I don't think that that is a good enough reason to have a party, to be perfectly honest. There is plenty of good reason to have a party, but your unelected head of state, having been crowned 59 years ago, is not one of them. So uh, instead, um, I just uh, did some work at home. And that was actually quite satisfying. So there we go. Um, I'm now gonna buy breakfast because there's not a lot left in the house. Anyway, being eerily followed by a giant blimp. Welcome to Richmond. There's a man running lots of goats. Up the stairs, that's how you get your goats home. They literally run all the way up and into the truck. Amazing. Leaving just a cow. The 
Anyway, it's Monday, so we came into town <coughs> to get out of the flat. The sun hasn't quite come out properly, but it's trying. So, we're going for an afternoon walk run. Crystal's going for a run there in the pink. I'm going for a walk. We're both going to do 15 minutes in different directions and then back again. See how it goes. It's actually a gorgeous evening on the towpath. It's the very, very rare part of this weekend where the sun is out, even though it's like nearly nine o'clock. And uh, it'd be a shame really not to make the most of it. So that's what I'm doing. Crystal's gone one way on the towpath. I've gone the other. And it's gonna be exactly half an hour. So my phone will beep 15 minutes and I'll turn around. And we should, theoretically, if our paces haven't slowed, um, arrive back at the gate at the same moment. I'd be surprised, but there we go. Look at that light. Amazing. Yeah, simple things. Bark. Simple things for simple people. People being murdered on the Thames, so don't mind that. It's all part of the atmosphere. So the alarm's just about to go off and I'm just about to turn around. The sunset is amazing. Can you see that? Actually, it turns out when the alarm goes off, <laughs> it stops the camera. Anyway, so the alarm's just gone off. As I mentioned, the sunset, you might have heard, is amazing. Look at that. Incredible. Um, and so I'm turning around. And so where have I got to? Well, just past the brewery is the answer. And we'll see how far I've done when we actually get back to the other end. But a lovely walk. So nearly back to the start point, which was this gate here. In a moment I'm going to turn around and see how good our timings were. <laughs> 15 minutes each way. Here's hoping it worked. It's such a nice evening, I should do this more often. I should do this every night, to be honest. Right, are you ready? You ready? You're looking for something very pink. Okay. Oh yeah, no fouling. <laughs> I can see something. Can you yet? It's pretty good timing, I have to admit. Wait for it. There you go. Look at that. Amazing timing. Right, we'll now compare and contrast. And see who went where. Welcome to Kew Gardens. Some very large fish swimming around. Ooh, yeah. He's on the move. Oh, they're yeah. <laughs> They've got a lovely fish wars. Mm. I don't know what he is. Yes, he lives around here. Say hello, Lizzie. He wanders around here and you see him in different places. Probably very good for keeping flies yeah, down. Bug. Or the bugs down. It's giving me a strange look. Oh, he's going to sleep. Look, his eyes are closing. Guppies. Oh, he's opening his mouth to you. He keeps looking around, doesn't he? He's got wonderful eyes. I'm going different directions. An amazing pattern on his body. It's like a maze. I wonder if you can reach the middle. <laughs> oh, the eyes are incredible, aren't they? Some of the boats from the Royal Flotilla from a couple of days ago heading back down the Thames. Back up the Thames, I suppose. Back towards Richmond and Teddington. Well, it's raining like it has been most of the Jubilee weekend. Nice. Obviously, God has decided that the Queen does not have a divine right to rule. Um, he's obviously upset. Um, we've moved the television finally. So, wait for it, it's a gap.
yeah, not very exciting, because um, it's gone in here where I finished painting, finally. So the walls are white. And the television has a new home. Uh, Assassin's Creed, copyright. So now all you need is some chairs to go here. And then this room where we have a table, and we can dine, and we can watch television. Amazing. That is in no way camp. The big show is showing us his skills. Like a boss. Yeah, that works well. <laughs> it always seems to catch me on a Thursday evening um, when I'm supposed to be doing something like putting last week's video together, but instead I'm procrastinating and buying food. Anyway, here we go. Update. Three day week, which is excellent, to be honest. Um, the weekend was spent mainly finishing that last room. Um, which is pretty much done apart from the furniture, as I showed you. Um, which is why you need a four-day Jubilee weekend, republicanism aside for the moment. Um, and this week has been very, very short, one day left. I just spent the day with Mr Bradley building um, the front end of his brilliant database for Who's On Heart. So that is cool. So hopefully that will all be up and that competition will be soon wrapped up and my life will be returned unto me. So there we go, so I'm going to M&S as per normal to buy something to eat because Crystal's out for the evening having a meal with the girls.